Hey guys, welcome to my top 15 entry for the NYX Face Awards New Zealand. To start this makeup, I've got these cool little cheekbone prosthetics that I've made from foam latex. And I'm just applying them onto my face using some Prosade glue. I've only applied the glue just to the middle of the prosthetic just to stick it onto my face. And now I'm just going around the edges with the same glue again. Once the prosthetics are applied, I'm now going in with a transparent powder and I'm just powdering off the edges so there's no sticky residue from the glue. For the foundation, I'm using the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation and this shade is called Porcelain. Once I'm happy with the foundation, I'm now going to powder it off using a slightly white powder just to get a super matte pale finish. To start off the eyes, I'm using a NYX Primal Colors eyeshadow and uh, this color is called Hot Orange. So I want my eyes to be really bright and opaque so I'm using the NYX Simply Red Lip Cream and I'm just applying that to my eyelids and then using a fluffy brush to kind of blend it out a little bit. After that I'll be applying some bright red eyeshadow as well just to seal it off. I'm using the same lip cream to do my bottom liner as well and then again just fading that out a little bit with my fluffy brush. To make my eyes pop a little bit more, I'm also just using a bit of a highlighter and putting it into the middle of my eyelids. And now just to finish off the eye makeup, I'm just using a little bit more of that hot orange eyeshadow. For my eyebrows, I'm using a sort of light beige sort of colour because I will be wearing my white wig, so I didn't want them to stand out too much. And now I've just applied some nice lashes and I'm using the NYX Double Stacked Mascara just to darken my natural eyelashes as well. So for my mask that I created for this look, I bought a, a little paper white mask and I just cut it to shape and then I painted it and then added some decorative little prosthetics onto that as well. And just to make my face kind of blend in with that mask a bit more, I'm also adding some of these prosthetics onto my face, like this big, beautiful, baroque, masky sort of prosthetic. And I've just painted that up, and so I'm just applying that to the top of my forehead, so it really looks like a finished mask. 
to just blend in my face a little bit more into the mask I'm also adding some nice little cracks onto my forehead as well which is a similar uh, texture that I painted onto the mask itself So now that is the gorgeous side of the makeup all done. So now it's time for the fun part. To start the gory zombie part of the makeup, I'm first starting off with a grey powder and I'm just contouring my face with that and then also contouring onto my neck and chest. Once I've finished with the grey, I'm now going to go in with a pink face paint and kind of just give myself a guide for where I'm going to be putting all of my gory parts of the makeup. Now using a brown eyeshadow, I'm creating these cool little frown lines which are hidden still by the mask and also I'm going to be using that same brown powder to contour my neck a little bit more and give me a bit of a guide for how to create that bony sort of effect later on. Now using a white face paint, I'm just creating all of my little teeth. And once all of my teeth are done, I'm using a red face paint just to outline them. And using that same red face paint again, I am also just filling in all of those pink areas that I've made previously and giving them a little bit more definition. For the neck and chest, I've added a few little wounds, uh, just using the same red face paint again. And now I am using a few different shades of brown face paint to really get that sunken in sort of look.
Once I'm happy with the shape and texture of my neck piece, I'm now going in with a black face paint and I'm adding some shadows to all of my wounds. Once I've done the black, it's time to go in with some white and add some highlights. And just to give all of my wounds a little bit more depth as well, I'm just going around them with a dark red eyeshadow and it's kind of just acting like a bit of bruising and also gives it the effect that the skin around the wounds is sticking out a little bit. Now it's time to add some final little highlights to the neck part as well, just to make it look nice and shiny. And of course we need some blood as well, so I'm using a dark red face paint for this and making nice long drips going down the um, lines of my neck. And um, yeah, then after that I added a few little flicks of blood as well and also added a few little highlights onto them too. And then after the makeup I added in my blind contact lenses and put on my nice wig that I made for the occasion. And yeah, then that was my finished look. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. And yeah, if you do, just remember to vote for me by clicking the link below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.